Hi, I'm Carl. Well, the loop broke on my Valley Honeycomb blind, so I'm going to take you through how I'm going to go about fixing them. And also stick around, even though you might not be fixing blinds, uh, I actually have an insight in ordering parts that might save you some money. So the line came out of the tensioner, so the first thing I'm going to do is, release, is remove the tensioner, just a screw. Okay, we're good there. I'm going to take the other tensioner off as well, and why I'm doing so will become apparent a little bit later. I decided to remove this end piece, it's what's called the clutch, and to do so, I simply undo the screw right here. And I have a nasty tendency for dropping screws. That's why I have the magnet. Then I'm going to push the end piece out. Just apply a little bit of pressure there, not a whole lot. And then that will come out. With the clutch out, I can show you why I wanted to replace it. Notice how beat up this is on this side. But this is a universal part, and I realized that the other side is not at all beat up, and so what I'm going to do, and to save myself $15 on one or $30 on two, is I'm simply going to swap out both ends, and that way I'll be working off the fresh side. I have both clutches out now, and notice that I have a new faceplate because I knew this was missing, what I didn't catch is that this one was actually held on by scotch tape. Um, apparently the top here likes to break, so just be aware if you order one, you may as well order the other one. Alright, so that's what that looks like. So now, I'm actually just going to swap these two for the ends. I'm going to have to re-stream uh, this side, and I'll show you how to do that. Now I'm going to feed the cord into the clutch. If I have a little bit of a gap here, that helps and push it in, start to turn it. Key is to get it started a little bit. And then just pull that around. And, and I gotta be honest with you folks, it took me a few times to get this. There we go. So now I'm back to the other clutch and I have to get it ready to change over so I'll simply back that off a little bit and then bring this one around. Now I have both sides ready to put back in. Alright so now I'm going to put these together, slid that on, bring in and I notice this is a little bit tough to push in so I'm going to bring another tool into play, a little plastic hammer so I can tap that. Go. Slide this on the end there. Make sure that has slid over the rod. And all this screw is really doing is pressing. This, uh, against the side of the, uh, the rod in there. That's all it's doing. Okay, we're good to go. Now I'm going to do the other side. All right, rinse and repeat. All right, I'll put the face plate on. And that's good, and I'll go take the other one on. All right, now I need to put the tensioner back on. Just kind of spread that apart a little bit. Be aware, this might come out, no big deal. Just lay it flat, put the line around it, like this. Line this back up, snap it together, 
ready for the next step. So I have moved the brackets on on both sides so that there's a little bit of tension on each tensioner. Get that screwed in and we're done. Well, I hope that was useful to you. Thanks for watching House and Garden Hacks. Have a good day.